This video from Sharpel, we're going to take a look at department programming on the XEA217 register. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why you'd want to program or set departments up, or at least give them names. Uh, the first reason is reporting. So when you program your PLUs, so these buttons here that have preset prices and descriptions, so like pint of carlin, ham sandwich and so on, you, they get assigned to a department. And when you do your end of day sales report, um, your departments are shown on the report split. So we'll say you can have your department set as wet and dry, or draft beers, snacks, food, whatever you want. So it just makes your reports easier to interpret. Um, a secondary reason is up here you've got six department buttons which you can actually use and process sales through. Um, so they're like open PLUs or sub departments. You want to be a bit careful about how you use them, but if you are using them, it makes sense to give them a name so it doesn't just say Depto 1 on the display. Um, so let's, if I stop talking about it, I'll actually show you how to do it, it'll make more sense. So all the programming is done in the PGM mode, so you press mode and then arrow down to line 6, PGM mode, TLNS to enter it. Then you want to go into setting and then article department and then it'll list out your department so I'll just program a, a couple of them so department one you can have them with a preset price I'm not going to do that because I've got PLUs set up so I just want PLUs having prices and then I want my PLUs to belong to a named department and so to program a name you need the alpha underlay keyboard you then arrow down to the department description and then you can type in um, the description, so I'm just going to have wet and dry sales, caps button here. Um, and then the other information on there, open, that's correct because I'm not having it as a preset price. If you didn't want to use the emergency buttons that are on the um, keyboard, you can actually inhibit them. So if you choose inhibit, it means that you can't use this number one button here as a random sale item. So if you looking to tie down on um, mistakes being made on the register that might be an idea you don't have to do that you can just leave it open um, but I'll leave that one as inhibited um, tax type is obvious if you've got tax rates set up on the machine you need to make sure you're assigning uh, the correct tax to the department is there any more settings Single item cash sale is a bit doesn't really isn't really relevant. You can have a if the if you are using the button to put sales through, you can have a halo on it so stop it over rings on the machine. But for for this demo, we're just going to give them um, names. So department two, I'm going to set that to be dry again with no price. I'll leave this one as open just to show you the difference between the two. When you finish your program, and escape cancel to return to the main. Uh, screen just to show you you're not limited to the six department buttons that you've got here on the normal keyboard you've got more than you need really because if you think about the fact that you've only got 70 product buttons why would you need 70 departments but you've got plenty of departments on there so it'll just help you interpret your reports a bit better so it's escape cancel to return to the main mode pop this through here um, so if we try and ring 199 through department 1, we don't we get that not working because the button was inhibited. Um, but we can get 199 through our dry department. So that's just to show you the difference between the way those products work. And I'm just going to ring a few sales through. So we sold plenty of um, Carlin pints, which will be within our wet department and then if I ring £150 through the dry department and then run a Z report resetting general so you've got your GTs on there as normal you've got the groups and everything but it just that's the point of doing it just makes it you've got a name for the department so rather than trying to remember which department's which it's just it's just makes your reports make a bit more sense i think um so okay yeah that's how to program departments on the 217 i've got other programming videos which some of which are probably appearing on screen now which you're welcome to watch you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more thanks for watching